Welcome to the Five on Five. Joining us today is Emily Evans, Executive Director of Women's Foundation of Oregon. Emily, thanks so much for being here. It's a pleasure. Talk to us a little bit about Listen to Her Tour. It kicked off at the end of March, and you guys are now going to 12 different communities. For those who this is the first time they're hearing of it, what is the Listen to Her Tour? It's a listening to her to hear from hundreds of women and girls from all over the state of Oregon. Our goal is to gather stories and hear about what's important to them to inform a, a big report that we're doing. And this stop here tonight will be five of 12. Five of 12. So what does this report look like and, and why have a report? So we haven't had a comprehensive report on the status of women and girls in Oregon, how women and girls are doing in all aspects of their lives uh, since 1998. And a lot of that data was from the 1990 census. So it's been a generation since we've had real data on how women and girls are doing. And when you say how women and girls are doing, what are you looking at? We're looking at everything from economic well-being, health, safety, mental health, um, education and opportunity, leadership and civic participation. Basically, anything we gather data on, we're putting it into this report. And then from that report, what's the hope from the information that you gather, what do you want to do? We're with that? hoping to make Oregon a better place for women and girls. There are 2.1 women and girls, 2.1 million women and girls in Oregon today, and um, they are contributing really an exceptional amount. It's one of the things that we've been most excited about the data we're finding. Women and girls in Oregon are contributing every day in ways big and small all over the state, and in return, they're actually experiencing some of the biggest inequalities in the nation. What are some of the biggest barriers that girls and women are facing today? Yeah, so one of them um, is the cost of, of caretaking and child care. Oregon has uh, some of the highest child care costs in the country relative to our median income. It now costs more to send your toddler to child care than it does to send your high school senior to U of O, which is pretty, um, pretty shocking. We also face um, a really big what they call wealth gap. We know the pay gap and, and equal pay is a, is a problem for women and girls and make about 79 cents on the dollar. But there's a wealth gap of about 35 cents on the dollar for women and girls in Oregon, which is some of the worst in the country. Um, we also know that rates of um, sexual assault and domestic violence here in Oregon are some of the worst in the country. Um, it's pretty sobering, some of the stuff that we're finding out. And that's today in 2016 that women are dealing with some of these issues? Exactly. And I think people think, oh, Oregon's a really progressive state. They, they must not have any, any issues with women and girls. They've mostly made it. Um, and we see, like I said, incredible contributions and a lot of areas of hope. But we're also seeing some, of, um, some areas of a real alarm and concern. So you're saying there's still some work to do, and that's what this tour aims to do, is to gather those opinions and that information for women all over the state of Oregon. Exactly. We have mountains of data telling us how women and girls are doing, but we don't have mountains of stories. And stories are what really matter when, when decision makers are, are looking at what affects women and girls. So we are hearing from really hundreds of women, and we have all different ways to gather their stories. And we're wanting to make sure that what the data say are actually what's the lived experience of women and girls in communities all over the state. And there is a tour happening tonight. We want to touch on that, but we're going to take a quick yeah. break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Joining us once again is Emily Evans, Executive Director of Women's Foundation of Oregon. Emily, thanks again for being here. Absolutely. We've been talking a lot about the Listen to Her Tour, which is making stops all over the state of Oregon, and you have a stop happening tonight in Medford. Talk we a little do. Bit about that. I'm so excited. I'm from Southern Oregon originally, so this is going to be one of my favorite stops, I can already tell. Um, and we are we're going to have a 90-minute event, and it's going to be, I promise, the most fun town hall community event that, that people have ever gone to. It's a riot. We do a lot of dancing. We do, we do live text polling. We have a storytelling booth. It's great. Okay, so it's very interactive. There's going to be a lot of different ways that people can contribute. Absolutely. It's not a lot of um, talking heads at people. We, we came to understand that a lot of listening tours are actually talking tours, and that's not what we wanted to be about. So we have six different ways that people can share their stories and give feedback, everything from writing in stories to going to the storytelling booth. We have live polling. Uh, we make word clouds together. Uh, we have breakout groups. It's really great. And it's from 5.30 to 7 at the RCC SOU Higher Education Center, just down the road Absolutely. from us here. Yeah, just, did, just grab, grab your stuff and yes, go. Just head there right now. Hurry. <laughs> if they're a little bit late, we'll still let them yeah, we'll the let. There'll be pizza. It'll be great. Okay. <laughs> and does it cost anything for people to come and take part in this? No, not at all. We want everybody to come. We tried to lower barriers all the way around. So we have food and child care. We have Spanish interpretation. We have um, all kinds of different ways for people to give feedback and participate. It should be really fun. Wow. If people can't make it out today, where can they get more information about what you guys are doing? Yeah, they can check us out um, at womensfoundationoforegon.org or just search us on the web. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Um, you, can, you can really, what's really cool about the tour is that we're in a 1985 RV. 
that belonged to my belonged to my grandparents, and we've slapped our logo on the side of it, there and it's our go. tour bus going all over the state. <laughs> it's also the storytelling booth at each event. Okay. It's pretty cozy inside, um, so we, you can follow our journey kind of all over the state in the RV. Um, so it's it's a good time. Nice, and you guys will be finishing up in May. How soon do you think this report will be put together? I'm sure you're going to be going through a lot of information. We are, and we're planning to release it in September of this year. Okay. Uh, hopefully, in enough time to sort of inform people's decisions around the election and the 2017 legislative session. Okay. And the report should be really fun um, too. We're going to have a lot of multimedia and pictures and infographics. The idea is that it's not kind of a crusty, boring report that lives on shelves. That it's a it's kind of a usable document that's really engaging and easy for people to use all over the state. Emily, anything I didn't touch on that you want to add while I've got you? No, this has been a pleasure and we'd love to see everybody out here tonight. Thanks so much for your time. We'll be right back.